Okay, let's see how this works. I've got to go to my videos. Uh, my videos are there. And see how this works. Oh, it's not there yet. Is that live? I hope it's live. All right, let's refresh that page. It's not showing up there yet. There we go. There it is there. Caboodle boom. Now I just want to check the screen there. Now that's, I'm on 4G. You're alive, it's on. I'm going to try the light and see which light I've got to turn on and off. See, that's too glary. Too glary. Get this down there a little bit like that. Very glary. Got my microphone plugged in. What a lot of fundamental, fundamental problems, eh? Hello, morning. You, yes, you're live. How is the quality of this video so far? This is driving me crazy. Can't go live in my studio. What have we got there? We've got 37 people now. You're back. The light is just turned off and was better. Okay, I'll turn the light off. I know the light off is better normally, but I'm just trying it because on my display screen, it's looking quite washed. You sound good, very bright. Looks good. Hi, Ian. Yeah, hello. Turn off that light, Sulu. Yeah, I've turned it off. Maybe much light. Yeah. Anyway, is this is the image clear or is it pretty blurry or is it average or okay? If someone there can tell me that. Oh, well, uh, I'm having trouble viewing you today. Uh, the camera still washed out. I'm here, boss. Crisp. The jacket is glary. Yeah, I know. Better? All right. A little bit fuzzy for some people. Um, you were grainy. You were very grainy. Oh, I've got to stop reading this. Uh, it's, it's rather bright. Oh my God. I've got white on under there as well. Um, is that grey? I'll try the grey. Uh, get off there, you. I'll go like that. Bugger it. Wires everywhere. All right, let's get onto this. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of battery before I get painting. So let's grab you over here. I'm going to turn the camera around. Oh, no, no, no. Where's the camera? Where do we... Oh, here we go. I nearly turned the video off, you silly Billy Ian. Okay, that way I can see what I'm... Film it in the back of the camera there. Tighten that up a bit. And I'm a bit annoyed that um, it looks a bit washed. What do we got down here? Okay, hello, D, K, Barry, Pamela, Anne, Patricia, Rose, Marilyn, Mama, Jerry, Margaret. Hello, all there. All right, now I've got. Oh, let me just finish that coffee. I've wiped that out the way. Now I want to grab some, um, um, what do you call it? Gee, that mucking around now has really put me out of whack for this video. I've got some good old turquoise and some clear medium retarder to slow down the drying time. And I want to mix this up because this is going to condition the canvas for this kind of very night scene, a lighthouse that I want to do, okay? Thank you, Firth. I've got my screen right there next to me so I can see too. I've changed them around. All right, let's not muck around there. What am I doing? Now let's get over there. Where's... I don't want any glaring screens there. So I've got a one of these 
to stop that screen glaring as well. I don't need that just yet. All right, and we've got our little live canvas here. So I'm using one of my homemade canvas panels, good quality artist canvas on top of this lightweight canvas board that I've made. And when I get a chance, I'll look at the screen and try and read some of what you're saying there. But when I'm painting live, excuse the ignorance to the comments there, here and there. All right. Now I've got some phalo blue down here. I'm just using the phalo blue that I have. Uh, looks good. Thank you very much. So I've got phalo blue there and I still want it wet. So I've got a little bit of paint there. That was a big bit. This is a little bit. So this is going to have a little bit of retarder as well. Just like that. Now I will wipe my brush. I'm not going to wash it because it's still mixing with paint on there. But I just want the bulk of that off there. The economizing with um, my paper towels there. I bought a new three pack. Now we get some blue incorporated into that brush. These are simple but effective paintings for beginners that I'm teaching you here. The last live one was a black and white. And the water's about here. I want to go get the blue into the sky like that because it's a night. Get some more on there, Ian. Get it on there. There we go. We're painting this. I'm, I want to paint this into that turquoise. I want everything to change values within itself. That's why I'm doing it this way. I could have just painted the top half blue, but I didn't want to. This is going to add a beautiful night sky. You watch what it does. I'll go down there. I'm going to add the water later. Now, where's me black? I've got carbon black. Use Mars black, carbon black, black black, or whatever black you got. Get some of that down there. Now, I want the top of the sky dark as well. So, what do I do? I'll wipe that brush again. Okay. Hello, Angela, Angela Renee. Okay, let's get this going. Now, this is going to go at the top. Hello from Canada, says Je Jean. G'day, Jean. Glad you can join me. G'day, Bruce Anderson. How are you, Cobber? Now, this is going to go at the top, this black, like that. And we just want to wear it down into the... See, I've got a lot on my brush. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe it off. Because I don't want to put too much black into that sky, but I want enough there to indicate that it's a night sky. And I want to bring that down into that blue. There we go, just like that. Now I'm feeling I did put too much black there. Here we go for lo Oh my goodness. Live videos are fun, aren't they? Now I need some white. And I hope this doesn't make it go grey. I want some... That black came down a bit too much. No, I don't want white. I want... I want this lighter colour back. There we go. Oh, there you go. I've stuffed it. Look at that. That's supposed to have been bluer here. But I've lost it. But it's a night sky, so let's not worry. I'll fix the water up now. So I want some, just a black band in the water somewhere, maybe along here, just like that. Something, a darker value in the water. I want to wipe my brush. And I know why I mucked the sky up. I didn't wash me brush. Where are we? We'll go over here. I've got to clean this brush. Yeah, I didn't clean the brush. So I've got more of a blacker sky than a blue and black sky. So not to worry, not to worry.
So, back over here. This will still work. I keep treading on my wire. Um, I want some, uh, where's the white? I'm coming down here. I've got some white there. I want some white. And now this white, we want to give some lighter values in the water as well. Some out there and maybe some here. I'll get a bit more on there, Ian. Some there like that. I've got my values that I want pretty much. Now I'm going to wipe that brush. Damn, I didn't move the camera. I've just laced that into the painting there, that white, okay? So I've got my lighter, my dark band. Now I want to get this brush. Can't see the canvas, I know. <laughs> i tell you what, when you're watching lives, every now and then expect the artist to forget to move the camera if they're doing a lot of camera movements. Now I've just wiped that brush and I want to get all these left and right and I'll get some beautiful stuff happening in that water just like that there we go how long have we been going for 11 minutes now I want to quickly get the um, sky on so I need my fan brush and some titanium white. Ooh, I've got a big blob of paint on my screen there. I better move that. Hello from Russia. Um, can't see the canvas. Yes, I've got the canvas there. Like Bob Ross, says Diane Johnson. He smacked the devil out of it. Oh, my brush, yes. Yeah, I've got a stick inside a little kitchen tidy rubbish waste bin. And I use that to flap inside so paint doesn't splash everywhere. Next time I go over there, if I do, I'll take you over there for a bit of a visit. All right. Now, I've got my titanium white. Oh, I need a blending brush. So over here are my blending brushes. These are just from the hardware store. Look at the broad face on them. That's what I look for in a blending brush, okay? And I've got different sizes. Let's put them in order so we look like a professional. So these two are the same brush, but one's a different brand, okay? And these are good for blending different size clouds. So I'm gonna use one of those, just from the hardware store, to blend my clouds. And a lot of people out there you already know how I do my clouds. Now, when I do my cloud stage, I don't go putting retarder into this paint from the tube. I leave it. All the paint on the board is already retarded. And how did I want my clouds? Let me have a look at my display pick there. Okay, let's see if that's going to glare too much. I don't think maybe not. Let's see how we go. So I want some kind of my water lines here. So I want something a bit low here first. So we'll get something out there and I'm stamping it on. This is good quality acrylic paint there, something there. Get some of that white on there, Ian. Oh, that'll do it. And I'm gonna throw that brush straight into the tub of water and start blending this cloud. So I'm, I'm touching it on and off, on and off. Pull it there. Grab a um, rag, cloth, anything to keep wiping the build up off your brush as you blend this way. And I wanna oodle it out like that. I always like, see I just trace that out there like that. It just gives the painting a bit more of an artistic look about it. Okay, now I'm grabbing the edge of the tip of the brush just to concentrate on the base of that. I'm controlling it. All these little ways you, that, with, which are involved in the way that I blend. And I've just been able to manipulate the bottom of that down into the atmosphere. That'll do. Now we'll do the other clouds. 
Uh, I might as well let you follow me around as I'm doing stuff. So I'm washing that brush and rinsing it. And I'm going to dry it within a towel. And I want to pick up, and let's do the main clouds in the sky now. So I'm just chiseling that onto my fan brush, pushing it in and chiseling it on. All right. And it is night time. I don't want to overdo the sky. Um, I'm going to have the light here. Oh, you idiot, Ian. That's going to interfere with the lighthouse beam. I'll have to do it. Oh. All right, let's... I'm just dabbing this on. See what I'm doing? Creating all this stuff. See what I did there? I'm wiping that blending brush. And I want to... See, I've got all the build-up off that, okay? Just from the hardware store, these synthetic, whatever. And I want to blend this. I'll give it a bit of a bottom there. And create the turmoil within the cloud. Create the turmoil. That looks good in real life. I'm not sure how it's looking on your screens there. Depending on your internet speed, depends on the quality of the video you receive from me here. Okay, there's one night cloud. I've washed that brush. Well, I didn't wash it. I've put it in the tub ready to rinse and wash again. I better put some more paint onto the palette here. What have we got? 75 people watching. Good stuff. Give me the thumbs up. And do remember this is a super chat. If you like to support my content, hit the super chat sign down below where you write your comments. And it helps me tremendously. Now, we're going to put something else maybe over here. So I want like inkity dinkity boodle out there like that. I want something just like that. This is going to be light clouds, in my opinion. So, so you can stamp on any shape of a cloud. I might darken this one up a bit because I've got to put the lighthouse there. And when you blend it, That's what creates the life, excuse me, within your cloud. So this is sort of going to come off there. This one here is a bit more misty like that. See, so I've pushed it in and washed it down into that paint a bit heavier. See, here's a bit glary and bright, so I'm going to watch. I'll push that down. I'm pushing it down, still manipulating and creating turmoil, okay? And then I will just add a little bit of yumminess to that because just that top one, not the bottom one, and maybe something in this one as well. And like I did on the other live video, you could probably, if you want, add lightning to this. Do a little bit of yumminess in there. This creates the third dimension, in my opinion. So we're just blending it down but leaving the brightness of that yumminess there, okay? Okay. Turmoil, oh, I love it. Now that cloud there, like I said, I would like to, I'm just gonna try and pick up some of the blue and the um, turquoise, still a bit bright. So I'm going to need, let's see if I can fix this up live. Normally I can turn the camera off when I'm filming and then Relax and take my time and do it properly for the camera, but when you're live, there's no forgiving, eh? I will not forgive you if you stuff up it's your problem. Right, I'm going to pick up some of that blue and some of this turquoisey into it as well. Try to get that value that's up there, which is sort of like that. Now that white is still wet, so it's going to blend with that as well, my mind's thinking, because all paints have chemicals. I mean, not chemicals, they have their own science. And when you muck around with paints, you start learning the science of paints and understanding their behaviours. And when you understand that, that really helps you. So see, I've just stamped that 
into the bottom area there. I'm not worried even if I lose most of the cloud because you can even start all over and put the thing back. So now I want to just manipulate that. Okay. I've gotten rid of a lot of that bright area from that cloud. That worked all right for me. It is to me a bit on the blue side, but not to worry. Now I sort of come down into the waterline, so I'm gonna put that back. Oh, not with that brush, so I've just got black all over it. Uh, and I was noticing that happening. So I just wanna get the waterline there. Beauty nuke. Now I know I'm going to have me lighthouse and Oh, excuse me, and my, where are we, Little Moon. So, I love this packet from the $2 shop. I might use that size for the moon, is that too big? No, that'll work. And I need something for the lighthouse. So I've got a couple of um, pounces here. This was a big pack that I found. Bloody beautiful. All right, so I need, what paint was that? That was out of the tube. I need the flow paint out of the tub, the craft paint. I call it flow paint. So many people on my channel ask, what's flow paint? Where do you get it from? It's just student craft paint, okay? Now, I want to put the reflections in the water before I finish. So this is going to be the moon reflection, and I'll put the lighthouse reflection in there as well. So I've stamped that on there like that, loaded him up. I haven't read any comments lately. How's everyone going? Dee Fowler, thank you very much. She's just sending a donation. That was beautiful. I'm back. Hey, everyone. Ian, good day, says Stephanie. Uh, Bruce Anderson, tape holds to his easel, but spray to assemble his canvas. Okay, so anyway, back over here. I'm going to have me moon... The lighthouse is going to be here. So, because the main reason I want the moon is just for a reflection content in the water. So I've just got my moon there, and then there's my water. Make sure it's straight and right under it, and dilly-dally all the way down to the bottom, all the way down there regardless. Boom. Simple. Put that one down like a gentleman. Pick the other one up. Oh, no, I'll... I'm going to use the same one for the lighthouse, so I'm loading it up again. Now my island's going to be about here, and the lighthouse will be there. So I want... That's where my lighthouse is going to be. Now this ain't going all the way down, because the lighthouse is just a little object on the island. So don't get carried away and bring that one right down to the bottom either. Because if you get some smart bugger looking at your painting and want to criti critique it, they'll look for the, all the real aspects of detailing that it should have, and it's only a painting. So we'll oodlate that out there like that. Boom. We've got our glares there. How's that looking? Is it looking glary enough? Yeah. Yep. Now I'll pick up some of the turquoise on there because I feel... Some of that's a bit dark, so I'm just adding elements of what needs to be back in the water. It's such a tiny painting, this. Here we go. And I'm, I'm still mucking around. I'm going to put a bit more glare there because it's sort of washing through. It's just the craft paint all the way down the bottom there, Ian, like a gentleman. And let's go again. Beautiful. That's it. Now I've got to go and wash my brushes. So I've got a couple of pounces and I've got me applicator brush. So come with me so you don't get bored. Let's go over there. Over there. Now bear with me a minute. I've just got to, if I don't wash them now, they'll get all hurt, ruined, hardened buggered you know so I like to keep them clean as I go it's just something I do you know <laughs> I've got a nice towel there it's 
actually, yeah, I told you if I um, wash my brush out, I'll show you. Went, let me just get these pounces done first, and um, I'll show you how I flap or whack the buggery out of me brushes there, what I've got going there. Let me just get this with hot water. Okay, so let me bring you over here. Let's grab that out of the way. Down here. Where are we? Where are we? It's pretty dark. I can't quite get in. But in here is my kitchen tidy bin. And I've got a, you might not see it, but there's a broomstick down there screwed in to the side of it. Okay. And that, let me get this out the way. Oh, botheration, botheration. <laughs> oh, just to get them here. Okay. And then I just flap it. And that keeps all the water inside the house. It doesn't go everywhere. It's... I've got it in here because it's an inside flapping bin. I oh, know they probably have names for them, who knows. Okay, let's get his back over there. How long have we been going for? 76 people. Not too bad. Okay, I've got a dirty brush there. Now, what do we do next? Um, I've done the moon. Oh, with the moon. Yeah, the moon's on there. Sometimes you might look at it. Excuse me. You can use a brush or your finger. I'm going to use the brush because it's a very small painting. And uh, manipulate the paint. Oh, get rid of the crunch out of that. See, I used that for something else and I shouldn't have. And I want to just artistically give that moon a bit of more pizzazz. So I'm just sort of whooshing, washing away everywhere. Now that is that craft paint. It's very weak, thin, and doesn't have much grunt to it. So I'm picking up some of the good titanium white now, which is a lot thicker. And I'm just easing that onto there. I can even do this when it's dry, because that wet Craft paint underneath isn't helping me much here. And I'm live and I don't want to be getting frustrated and going, oh no, it's not happening. All right. But anyway, we'll get back to him later. <clears throat> Still not happy with it, eh? There we go. That'll do it, Neil Brook. It's a bloody ugly moon. Look at that, I've put, a, I've put an elbow on it. Oh, because I'm mucking around too much. I'll get back to that later. Now I've got to put the um, the, the the headland out here, the rocks. So I want to try. I thought I'll keep it simple. I've got some black there, and but I want to use my black gesso because I love the flat black on the canvas. So I'm going to pick up some black gesso down here. I'll try and read some comments while I'm looking at the screen there as well. Where's my knife? Hang on a minute. So what have we got there? Sort of Christine. Diane, hello Diane. Um, Akda. Hello from Maryland, USA. Love watching your paint. Thank you very much. Now I'm just going to grab some of the... This is black gesso. So to me, you know, you know black gesso. It's, it's like that blackboard, chalkboard paint. It's flat black. See, black gesso. This makes good preps for some nice black and white paintings as well. Now, where did I put that little brush? I'm going to try, but first before I do, I've got to get the bottom established, okay? So I'm going to pick up me stick, me bullshit stick, and I want to get this just mapped in. So I'll just put in a bit of paint. I want the headland coming out about there, and I want to get this mapped in. It's a little bit lower 
I can go a little bit lower if I want. But it's a little bit lower than the um, horizon line out there, okay? But what I will do, and so as it's not going to mud up, is I'll blow dry it. And I'll see if I can answer some questions. The time where I am is nine o'clock in the morning, okay? So I'm gonna dry the area where I'm putting this headland, okay? Now by my reflection, that's where I'll have to have my lighthouse. I could have come over a bit more. All right, that's dry enough. I wanna sit there listening to me dry go. And before I go, I'll just see how me Posca, a lot of people ask this, can you see the word there, Posca? You can buy these online. This is a one millimeter paint pen. And I'd like to, because it is a night time, add some stars. And this does just a beautiful little round dots. Putting some stars in the sky. Boom, 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 just like that. Try and do it so there's still a dot, you don't move the tip and make weird looking stars. You can flick them on with a toothbrush or a fan brush or whacking two brushes together, or you can do it this way. It's just a night sky. There we go. How's that look in the monitor? That's all right, that'll do. I'll sign it with that later on, maybe. What is the difference in gesso and paint you can get loaded of gesso? Sometimes instead of gesso. Gesso is just a, I don't know, gesso is a flat paint. Uh, so uh, that's why I use it, it's a flat paint. Uh, the one in your tube, Mars Black or Carbon Black, that has a sheen to it. And certain times I don't like to get that sheen. Now I wanna grab, I've got a little filbert here, and I'm hoping this is gonna work for me. So I've got, Titanium white on one side. Boom, bitty, boom. I should have pulled some out. I'll use my fingers. That's why I wear gloves as well. I can muck around with paint. So what I've done, I've laid a blanket of paint over my glass palette there. And it's about a mil thick. And now I can, okay, I've got the white on one side. Yes. And I'm gonna pick up the black on the other side, see? And hopefully, Hopefully, I can get me rocks. Let me try up here first, which way I've got to have the brush and everything. That's it, beautiful, beauty nuke. So I'm gonna have the, the, the white at the top and I'm gonna create rocks for me headland. Pick up the paint again, black and white. And this is why I've brushed, not brushed, dried the painting. Now you can detail these a lot better than this if you like. This is just something I want to do for the live stream here to make it a bit less stressful. <laughs> Picking up some more white and some more black. Uh, I need a um, leaner on a stick. All right. Um, where are we? Should I go that way? No, this way is all right. And we're just, you don't want them too bright. Let that black load in there a bit more. Get some more black on the, on the brush. There we go. And we're pretty much, you know how some headlands are made out of, they're man-made out of all those rocks they put in the water and they make a marina out of them. That's is pretty much what this is here. And where the lighthouse is going, I wanted a little bit level, something like that. Get a bit more black there, Ian, like that. Joanne Mendez, thank you for this video. You're amazing. Thank you very much. You, you, you just gave me an amazing comment there. Very loved and appreciated. Okay. Yeah, it's not... I don't know about live, they, they're always a head, a headache. Something always goes wrong with them. But 
we all can't be perfect I'm not trying to be perfect anyway but it's good to give you something if we're going to show you how to do something you don't want it to be unbearable now that's a bit iffity affity bit snotty here and a bit snotty there but what I can do later because I'm live you can get the gist of it I've made some dingle dangle rocks now what I'm just going to wipe that brush and get the black and where the bottom of the jetty is get that dark in there and remember with acrylic sometimes you might have to dry it so your paint's going to stick a lot better and transfer and not mud up into your painting already on the canvas sometimes it takes a lot of thinking a lot of time all righty then uh, the lighthouse what color was i going to do that white that's it white so we've got our headland out there Sim something simple but effective all right let's see if i can read something shelly you where are we you must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven oh here we go yeah Let, let's see what that one turned out yeah well i'm not here to get on about religious content so if you want to go about religious content you'll have to go to a religious religious site and express your feelings there i'm here all about art i want my bullshit stick there i've got to use the bullshit stick to get that bullshit effect going in your painting there and so i'm getting some white under that headland there kissing against the black let's get our brush now i'm going to wash the brush you can hear that noise and i've got it a little bit wet and i want to turn that paint into film with my wet brush hopefully i didn't get my a bit more wet i dried it too much i'm turning that film i mean that line I'm washing it down with a damp brush now, just so as it's washed against the headland there. And you can see what it's done, see? It's not a hard, heavy cartoon line. Okay. Now, where am I going next? I'll, I'll put the lighthouse in now. So yeah, someone, I just saw a comment there, orange is a complement of green, but this is like night scene. If it was a nice sunny bright day, I might do it that way. But this is just gonna be simple colors here. Uh, I better dry that headland, because I don't want that to mess up with me lighthouse, okay? So I'm gonna use a small brush again to get that lighthouse in there. And if you want to get real good and technical with your colours, that's totally up to you. I'm just showing you a demonstration here how I do something or what you can do. Now, I've got this as a little fill, but maybe it could have been a little flat. My little lighthouse is about here, so I want that. I'm pretty much, I'm going to do a basic one. And I can fix it up where it meets the bottom. I'll have it coming out at the bottom there. So it's wider at the bottom and coming in at the top a bit. I'll, I'll fix the bottom of that up a bit later. So this is a filbert brush. I wish I had a little flat because I can get those edges done with more control. But anyway. Let's grab the little flat brush. I do have one there. Where is it, Eenie Barberini? Where are you? There it is. Found it. I'm loading it up. I'm loading it up. And let's get that a bit straighter. See, the more you muck with these, the fatter the object becomes, eh? You've ever done that? I know I have. And I've got some stupid elbow on the lighthouse as well 
There we go. I'll leave that there. I want a smaller brush now, just to put some, where is it? There we go, found it. I want to grab some black and just put some black up the top there. So like that, wow, that's so small. I'm just gonna grab my glasses. I've got the wrong contacts in the wear glasses, but let's see how we go. Oh yeah, I can see a bit better. So I want a bit of a black object here and it can be hit with some light as well. I'll do that later. Maybe put a couple of windows down there. Can I get that camera a bit closer? I want to get the light off the screen there so we don't get too much glare. And what have I worked out here? I want a roof for the lighthouse. A little bit of a, a roof there. But tell you what, I'm going to have to make that a bit grey because the black you just don't see. I lost too much of my blue sky there. So I'll make this with a, a black with a bit of white in it. There we go, there, there. You can kind of see that now. I'm hoping, yeah. And now I'll put some white in there. So I'll get some white in there. And then I'll put little black there we go you can even put a bit of orange or yellow in that light if you want up to you how long have we been going for 40 minutes my golly now i want to put some lines just over that to connect that to the bottom there we go that's pretty much a lighthouse i don't know what it's looking like for you on screen there but it's not too bad here i'm just getting that bottom sort of detailed in now i've got some glare there we've got to get some glare how are we going there thank you very much kim mckay kim mckay just sent in a donation much appreciated thank you very much hey really like this one thank you Kay harris loving it but then I love all your art. I oh, thank you very much, Kay Harris. Good name you got. I'm a Harris too. Um, who else have we got there? Thought your next live was going to be next Friday. Uh, Catrice, I have Friday night live shows every Friday, but this is a live painting, so this is different. Um, I'm trying to get some live tutorials out there as well. So I still have my Friday night lives every Friday. That's just a Q&A show, a super chat Q&A show where we can talk as well. But sometimes during the week, I'll do a smaller canvas live painting. Uh, okay, now I wanna do the glare. Now I've gotta be careful. I've gone and dried all this now. So what I've gotta do is put it on and scrumble it at the same time. So, and to do that, my mind's thinking, and I'll show you what I'm thinking. I've got a flat, flat brush. Okay, you're welcome, Catrice. Um, I want the white, the good quality titanium white. Now, I've just washed this brush, and I'm brushing it on my blackboard, and I can see wetness still there. We don't want any of that there, because it's going to make the paint really stain your painting more than what you want it to do and you're going to lose control. So I'm going to pick up some of the titanium white now and I'll give it a bit of a practice on here. See, very wet still, so I'm going to dry a lot of that off. I'll wipe a lot of it off. I'll use my bullshit stick because you want a pretty reasonable straight glare from the lighthouse. And let's see if we can go from skinny. You might not see this yet, but I'll let you see it to fat yeah it's subtle that's that's how you want it subtle 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 and I'm bringing it out like some kind of light I can go a little bit darker it's my goodness there's not that much there painting and painting and nothing's coming off Just very glary. Getting this sort of stuff to happen um, helps 
when the lines are straight. If they go a bit wavy and crookedish, it starts making these not look effective as they should do or what you would have wanted them to do. We'll come up a bit as well. Come on, get on there. Come on. There we go. That worked all right, and I might put a little bit of glare in the oh, at the back of it as well. There we go. How's that? Put my stick back up there. I'll hang it on its hook. How are we looking there? Yeah, that's worked. That's worked all right. See, there wasn't much paint on the brush, but enough to stain the painting. What do we have here? It's beautiful. Thank you, says Tressa. Diane. Something happened it can't see. Um, can anybody see? Diane can't see nothing. Has people still got my image coming through? Um, I need my flat brush now. I see just fine, love it. Yes, thank you, Bruce. Okay, that's enough, okay, good, good, good. Ease up, ease up, ease up. Um, I want black again. I'm gonna use the black gesso that I've got on my palette here. And I'm going to paint in the foreground now, and it's pretty much going to 71 people watching. Not bad. Now I want some sort of um, I want a I want a bit here, boom, bitty boom, and in my mind I want something over that boom, bitty boom. Everything's dry. I think I dried these bottom area because you don't want the Yeah, it's a bit tacky. You don't want that stirring up the black. Now this is probably another rocky area at the Marina Harbour here. You could see looking over to where the lighthouse is okay. So I'll get this dry here and I've just noticed something's not happening very well up there. So I'm going to do up there what I did under the headland here, which is put some white there with me, with me flat. Where is it? Get the flat. Get some white on there. Rub it off. I need the bullshit stick for this again. Uh, we want to get a bit of white on there. Just to get that horizon line in the water there where it should be. Not too sharp though, because it is in the distance. So I'll get this. This should work. Okay, I've done that. I'm gonna wash the brush and turn it into film. Well, maybe that person that said I can't see is because my stick was in the way, but I couldn't help it. I wanna turn that into film, come on. Yeah. Anyway, I'll do that later. <laughs> What's happening there? I've got there we go. And blend it out into the water here. That should have been done before I did the headland. But these things happen. Anyway, that'll do it. Now back to my rocks. So I'm just pretty much shaping some rocks in here. I'll take my glasses off. We get these a lot in Perth. We've got a couple of marinas, Ocean Reef Marina, Hillary's Marina, and it's pretty much what it looks like. I'm just finding the shapes here, different shapes the top side of it all and then I'll block it in okay and this is just my black gesso which will be a flat black okay I've done that now I want to work out I've just done that any old way there was no rhyme or reason for that but what I want to try and look for is how to place rocks in front and behind of each other. I better move that retarder. Uh, thank you very much, Joanne Collis. Uh, 
Now, um, let's see what I can do. I will, you know, I'll just make sure that's finished. Oh, careful. Now, I'm gonna just quickly wash that brush, wipe it. Everything's still wet on there. I've got titanium white out of the tube I'm using off the um, easel. easel. Yeah, the easel here. Now, I wanna make this one See here, let me see if you can get over there a bit better. I wanna try and make this one, first we'll get the, the moonlight at the top. Uh, just in front of that rock there, see? I'll put that in front of that rock there, but I want the light. There we go, too easy. How's that look, fine? Yeah, that'll do it, Neil Blewett. And these are rocks, okay? They're wet and shiny and black, and they're hit by the moonlight. Uh, you need darks within these to make them look like they should. I'm just doing it any old way, I don't know. Uh, we'll put this one in front of there, get the light down, and in front of that side as well, boom biddy boom. How's that looking? Simple but effective, I hope. This one can go in front of there. See the, the, the matte black is slowly drying now. It was nice when it was damp because it was blending all the colours nicely. And I'm manipulating it with the brush because what I'll do, I can come back with black if I feel I've overdone it with this white lighter colour here. So let your mind think and go crazy when you're painting. I'll get some up there as well. There we go, that'll do it. Oh, what did I do there? Let me have a look in the monitor at that. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna grab my little, where is it? My little filbert brush. I'm gonna grab some of the black again, and I'm just gonna kind of loosely, you know, uh, feel artistic, get those darker values back in there. Watch what this does. Sometimes you've got to keep going backwards and forwards over your work. Wipe your brush as you go. And I'm painting loose now, so I want that kind of, if anything, I want the bottoms. There we go. I want the bottoms with some depth and shadow up in there. Painting loose is just getting back with your brush, bring that down there a bit more, wiggle it, have fun with it. Regardless what subject you're painting, oh, it's a bit messy over there. I feel I'm picking up some white, trying to, I'll pick up a bit more white and put that white back there. There we go. Oh. Wipe your brush, get that darker color back behind there. There's a lot of wet paint under there, so it's not gonna work too well. Um, I want to look in the monitor, I want to see how it's looking, get this. How long have we been going for? Let me look at the time there, 50 something minutes. There we go, we got pretty much a headland there. And you can keep going on with that till the cows come home, you can get a knife. Actually, I'll, I will do it because it is a live painting. I'll grab some of the titanium white out of the tube, okay. So I'm going to load up my knife. So what I'll do, can you see that? Yeah, I've got my clean knife. I'm going to spread it over my clean palette, a certain thickness white, right? Now I'm going to wipe that off. Don't be scared to lose some paint. I've wiped that off the knife nice and clean. Now I'm going to get 
on its edge and slice through it and get a roll on there. Reasonable. I can see. There we go. I might even just trim it like that. Does that help or hinder? That's all right. Okay, so I've pulled it across and slightly down at the same time. You can see my movement in the paint there. And a lot of people that are familiar with me know that I don't really like doing this, but we'll give it a go. Now, I'll do this on the horizon line. So before I get too close down there, I'll put my glasses on again so I can see what I'm doing. And we'll get the horizon line out there. Something over the moon, reflections there, something. Just some light hitting the water. Now I've, I've got a good load on this knife. Sometimes you get a good load on it. You can do a lot of transferring like I'm doing here. You can control it. You've got dark. Sometimes you get real big thick blobs and you that's what was scaring me and what still does scare me here and there. I can control the blobs so I don't get big ugly things like that. Because the thinner you get these, like, which you can actually see in this one, get them straight, Ian, um, the better it looks. Okay. So I'll just wipe that knife. What have we got there? Some questions. Um, yeah, you can put colours into the lighthouse if you want there, Barry, but I'm not going for too much colour. I just wanted black, blue and white within this piece here. But you can put complementary colours and different bands if you like, if you're going to go a daytime scene. Okay, that's what I'm going for here. Uh, so... Yeah, it's totally up to you what colour, excuse me, you go for. There we go. All right. So what I'll do, we'll, have, we'll give you a good look at that. You can pretty much see it. I'll um, just put that over that screen there so we're not going to get too much glare. And that's it. It's not too shabby. It's got some nighttime stars, moon. We sort of lost the reflection a bit, so if you're going to do this, make sure you work on your reflection a bit better than what I did in this live show, okay? Let me come over here, where are we? And I'll have a look what we've got going here. I am, it's beautiful, thank you very much. Uh, a shoot, a star maybe. Yes, you can put a shooting star or comet in there. Um, good night, Diane. Uh, is it Diane or Diana? Good night, Diana. Um, love it, thank you very much, Margot. All right, uh, can I wipe off the blobs if it's too much? Yes, do you? Like I say, where are we? Let's get this back there a bit. Uh, let me just turn the camera around. Like I've said before, why is it so glary like that? Like I've said before, practice a lot of procedures. Um, I have done it where I've got a blob and I can dampen the brush while it's still wet enough and wipe it through and wipe it off and blend it within the painting. Um, things like that, put your, put paint that situation onto a, a canvas there and deliberately give yourself a blob and see how you'll get rid of it. Deliberately do mistakes you think you might do on your paintings and see how you're correcting them and record it and memorize how you've done it. So when you're actually doing a painting and you've done that mistake, you'll be confident in how to repair it. All right. Thank you so much, Ian. I've missed my coffee. I'm, colors are amazing and I love it. Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to close this live up now. We've been going for, oh, there's nearly 80 people watching too. Um, how long have we been going for? Let me have a look in there. 
Jeez, look at that glare, it's ridiculous. Where's it coming from? Oh, you're right there. I need a thicker curtain, block out curtain. Okay, this has just been an hour. That's not too bad. Um, thank you very much, Anthony Gray. Yes, my curtains, they bleed a lot of light in here. So I've sorted out the glare on me easel. Now I've got to work out those curtains there. They are just nonsense. I don't like them, eh? I can look at them all day and I, I mean, I love the colour of them, but I don't like the way they're letting light in on a live show here like this. Um, what else have we got there? Great job. Very nice. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody, for supporting me and watching my videos here. Um, leave a comment in the, in the comments below if you got something you want to say to me and check out the links in the description below. I'll put the links there for the replay of this. At the moment, they're not there in the live show, but they will be there for the replay of this show, okay? Uh, Sharon Blankenship, love it, great picture, finished post for us. Painting, finished painting and post for us. Yes, I'll post it on my group page there. Thank you for sharing your talent and your time, Kay Harris. All right, all the best to everybody. Goodbye, good luck and good on you. And it's Uru from 